Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box there is some math and your challenge is to figure out what that is. You can use the link in the description to try this out and when you think you've got an idea come on back see if we get the same thing. Okay well, let's start with a zero. Zero gives us negative one. How about a one? Gives us zero. How about a two? So two gives us not a number, which most often we see that error when we're trying to take the square root of a negative number. Let's um let's try three. Okay, let's go further out. Let's try an eight. Okay, so I think the whole um, well almost the whole right half of this graph is off limits. So I'm I'm thinking we've got a square root function for sure. Um, uh, something funky is being done to it though. Let's see if we can get more of the shape so we can see it. Um, so I'm going to go towards the negatives. So we'll put in a negative one. <laughs> so uh, it's this is definitely confirming a square root that 1.41. That's um, a uh, the decimal for the square root of two. So let's try a negative two. Try a negative three. Hmm. Okay. So you can see the shape of the square root function. It's just been turned around um, uh, in a couple of different ways, actually. So usually, let me do some sketching up here. If you just had the square root of x, it would look like that. So that's square root of x. If you have the negative square root of x, what that does is it turns it upside down. So negative square root of x with the negative sign outside would look like that. This one's upside down, but let me do one more color here. If you had the square root of negative x, with the negative sign inside, it would flip it over the other way. So put it over here. We're getting we're getting a shape that's um, uh, heading out that way. So it's tapering off in that direction, which would make you think it's the negative inside this square root symbol. And um, it's flipped upside down. It's on the bottom. So it, the shape basically is like this one. And I think that is the negative of the negative square root of x. So that, I think, is what we're dealing with to, to reflect it over the x-axis and the y-axis. You've got to have the negative sign on the outside and on the inside. Kind of an odd one. It's also been moved over one. So we might have to think about what that means. Is that At this point, with all of these negative signs, does that mean it's a plus one or a minus one? So let's um, let's try a plus one, and then we can just verify. Uh, this gets confusing. Let's put a plus one in here, and let's ask ourselves what would happen if we put in a zero. If we put in a zero here, it would be negative zero, which is just zero, plus one, and then take the square root of that, which is one, but a negative sign on the outside of it, you'd get negative one. That seems to match there. Let's, let's try this point right here. That's a good one. So that's negative three. So it would be a negative square root of a negative, negative three, plus one. Well, negative negative three is three plus one is four. So the negative square root of four is negative two. That's what we're getting. Okay. So I think this is our function. Why don't we test it with one more likely candidate? Um, what if we put in a negative eight? So the reason I chose negative eight is because I want to get nine under the radical sign. So we'd have a negative uh, a square root of a negative negative eight plus one. Negative and negative eight is eight plus one is nine, so negative square root of nine should be negative three. So putting in negative eight and getting out negative three. Whoops, not 84. Ha, and there we go. We got out our negative three. So I think we've got this. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah, so negative square root of negative x plus one, and let's uh, graph that as well. And you've got that square root uh, shape. It's just been flipped upside down and reflected um, across that y-axis as well and, and moved over one. Well, how did that go for you? I, I think that noticing it was a square root was maybe uh, pretty doable. But then figuring out all of the negative signs, that was pretty tough. So let me know how it went. Thanks, everybody.